Thanks, Lauren. Well, today is the first day of school for some kids in our area. That's right, teachers and staff at a few Catholic schools in the Archdiocese of Baltimore will be welcoming back students today as part of our Rebound Maryland series. WMAR 2 News' Mark Roper takes us to one of those schools, Immaculate Heart of Mary School in Towson. So, Mark, what can students expect this morning? Still going to be different even though they're going back. Yeah, good morning, Ashley and Christian. Different definitely seems to be the word of today. Students can expect to see many changes in school, so we took a sneak peek at a Catholic school in Severn to find out just what the day will bring. Students haven't filled the halls of Archbishop Spalding High since the pandemic forced schools to close in March, but now it's time for them to return. This building has missed the students. We have really missed them and we are very excited to have them back and be able to teach them again. Spanish teacher Catherine Helley and Archbishop Spalding High School President Kathleen Marr prove that students aren't the only ones excited about the first day of school. Excited and terrified at the same time uh, because we know it will be different um, and we want them to feel safe. First of all, we want them to feel welcome because they are. We are so excited about their return. But we know that it's going to be a monstrous task. Because every part of a student's day will be different this year, from the moment they enter school until they sit down in a classroom. Students come in, they will sanitize their hands on the way into the classroom, take their seats. Of course, they have their masks on. And then during class, they're not sharing supplies. Archbishop Spalding High School principal Amy Cannon describes some of the other changes happening inside the classroom to reduce the risk of COVID-19. You can see we've spaced desks apart from each other. Um, we've actually, because of our size, we are doing a hybrid model. So half of our student body is here for in person. Uh, while the other half is at home two days a week and then they switch. Going to school during COVID-19 brings new experiences for staff as well. At the end of the class period, the teachers will leave time at the end for there to be cleaning of the desks with a disinfectant and, um, you know, again, sanitizing that area before that, that group leaves. But once the bell rings, students won't be in the hallways hanging out as chatting with their friends at their locker will be a thing of the past. There are no lockers this year. So the teachers who will be stepping out into the halls, all any staff, administrators, we will be out and about as well. Um, guiding, not being a big brother, but guiding and reminding them how to walk safely through a hallway. We typically have a eight period day uh, that are about 45 minutes long, and now we are doing blocks of 90 minutes to reduce that movement through the hallways. Even a trip to the cafeteria to meet up with friends and grab a bite to eat won't be the same. To go into the cafeteria, they will pre-order their lunches and go into a designated line to pick them up and then return to the classroom so we won't be eating in the cafeteria. But despite all of the changes happening at school, many are just happy to be back inside the building once again. We've missed our students um, and I think they've missed us and I know that our families are very excited to be able to have their children come back to, our, uh, to us and we are really thrilled to be able to see them. Now, another thing that will be different this year is the Spanish language teacher that we talked with told us that foreign language teachers will be wearing clear masks because that'll make it easier for students to see their lips and to learn how to pronounce words correctly. We are live in Towson for Rebound Maryland. Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News.